Welcome to Transit Rewind. I'm your host, Brad. In the 1980s, PCC streetcar service in Toronto, Canada was winding down, and videographers Ray Nielsen and Lee Rickwood captured some of the final runs on the 506 Carlton line. Let's take a look back in 1986, courtesy of Ray Nielsen and Lee Rickwood and the GPS video 506 Carlton. Park Loop to Main Street. These cars were distinguished by their extra large fleet numbers, which upset purist traction fans, but certainly made the cars easier to identify. They were equipped with water bumpers when first out shopped, but as time passed, they were removed. The first order of all electrics, the 4300s, as well as the CCNF multiple unit cars, the 4400s, and Canada's last all electric streetcars, the 4500s, were chosen to be rebuilt. This sequence at College and Crawford shows all three classes in service. It is interesting to note that these two PCCs crossing Young Street in 1986 were rebuilt again. 4544, the westbound car, became 4608 and is now in Tucson, Arizona. And 4540 became 4611 and now resides at the Halton County Radio Railway Museum in Milton, Ontario. The CLRVs came equipped with one-piece front and side roll sign curtains. All car lines were given route numbers. The roll signs on the PCCs were rearranged to conform. The number was placed on the door side of the car and the destination on the operator's side. On the PCC side sign box, only the number appeared. Multiple unit PCC 4472 was originally purchased for the Crosstown Bluer Danforth streetcar line. It resumed multiple unit service for a short time on Queen Street, and in its twilight years, its couplers were removed. Unfortunately for PCC 4546, it did not qualify for the final rebuild and was scrapped.
Even on a Sunday, service between Coxwell and Lansdowne was maintained with a greater number of streetcars than east of Coxwell and west of Lansdowne. This was because both ends of the line were residential and had less Sunday riders. 4472 turns south on Coxwell to Queen, where it will loop and return to westbound Girard to run ahead of 4540. 4536 is one of two PCCs painted in 1984 to celebrate Toronto's 150th birthday. It ran for several years in this livery. It was also saved for rebuilding and as 4607 it currently resides in Phoenix, Arizona. The other sesquicentennial car, 4545, was scrapped. After a photo stop on the bridge, the photographers board 4536 to resume their charter. This fan charter in 1986 provides an opportunity for a ride inside the car along Upper Girard. As the years passed, the PCCs were gradually retired. Catching the remaining cars in service was extremely rare. When traction fans spotted them, the cameras would click because everyone knew that once they were gone, they were gone forever. On this occasion, 4492 is on one of its last runs to High Park. PCC 4492 was later retired and the multiple unit PCCs disappeared from Toronto streets forever. Wow, that was some fantastic footage and we're truly indebted to Ray Nielsen and Lee Rookwood among many other transit videographers and filmers who captured much of Toronto's history and film and video. Thanks for joining us today on Transit Rewind. We will see you next time.